your state night. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us here at the Weather Channel. Rich Johnson here at Janetta Jones. Essentially, uh, what we're looking at is a mess on the West Coast, but yeah. that storm has let up. Our story is now focusing to the eastern United States. Yeah, we have a mess on the East Coast, too. It's just a mess in a lot of locations. Let's take you to one of those locations right now, and that is in North Carolina. You had a wet commute to work this morning in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. That's in the northeast corner of the state. Rain began from the system early this morning. The rain will continue all day and it will be heavy at times so keep those umbrellas and raincoats handy because it is going to be a cold wet day across the southeast as we check out our radar across the southeast you can see the rain oh, it is just everywhere across south carolina north carolina on into uh, richmond and norfolk virginia now interestingly enough we have seen some freezing rain through the shenandoah valley and that has been a problem earlier this morning in washington dc although now for the most part in dc you've changed back over to rain, but it's been a mess for a lot of locations. In Atlanta, no freezing rain, but uh, heavy, steady rain has been falling. And we've been seeing all kinds of problems around the perimeter, uh, as well as 400, not to mention I-75 and I-85. Heavier downpours near Macon, Georgia, and we could see some strong, intense thunderstorms across Florida today. All the ingredients are coming together that could lead to strong thunderstorms, maybe even severe weather, maybe even tornadoes. The uh, jet stream is going to be adding the extra oomph that is needed here for some uh, shearing. So we're going to have to watch very closely. Between Tampa and Orlando and Daytona Beach, you can see the heavier downpours already occurring. So you're pretty much socked in across the Sunshine State today also want to remind you we have flash flood watches in effect i'll tell you it is a messy day and we've already seen entirely too much rainfall here the ground's already saturated so the additional rainfall that we are getting and believe me we're getting plenty of it has nowhere to go so what that leads to is flash flooding I-10 is going to be in the thick of things, so is I-65 and I-75. We take you on up into the northeast, and this is a mess, folks, freezing rain, where we have the darkest pink shading. I want to show you that right there. Then we have a mix of some sleet and rain, some sleet and freezing rain and rain, that kind of thing. Then we have snow to the north of that, what we're anticipating through the midnight hour. Uh, oh, it's going to be a mess on I-95. West of I-95 right now, that's where we're seeing the freezing rain, freezing precipitation, pretty much west of the cities of Baltimore, Philly, and D.C. 
So it's going to be a mess if you're uh, traveling into any of those areas because if you're not seeing freezing rain, chances are you're seeing rain, and it's heavy at times. New York City has seen a little bit of light snow today, and now we're watching all of this moisture move into your direction. So just a mess, like I said. 25 in Boston, 34 in New York City, so not quite at the freezing mark yet. You factor in the wind, though, and it feels like 19, feels like 10 in Albany. So we've got some colder air uh, diving southward, and it looks like some places are, are going to see quite a bit of snow action out of this particular system as it continues to track northward. We'll have to watch that low. Timing is everything. We'll have to see how quickly the low moves and how close to the coast it's going to be hugging. And there you see the precipitation all across D.C. and Philly and now moving into New York City. So that's the way things are shaping up in the east. Now here's a look at the west with Rich. All right, thank you, Jeanette. Of course, the all-important question, where will the low go? That's what we'll check out in our forecast. Well, the east isn't the only place where conditions are unsettled. You're dealing with rough weather in the northwest as well. A series of storms continues to soak the region with heavy rain and mountain snow. Flooding is also a serious concern. These pictures are from Johnson Creek in southeastern Portland. Fortunately, this creek crested just above flood stage. However, there has been some minor flooding in some areas of Portland. Well, as we check out the western United States, well, I'll show you what we have going on. We do have that cold front coming through Idaho and Montana. And as this uh, cold front passes on by and heads farther to the east, there's been some winds that have been kicking up today. So some of the winds today have been gusty. Uh, anywhere from 20 to up to around 40 miles per hour. I was checking out some of the uh, conditions over to around Helena and back over toward Great Falls, and you have seen some breezy conditions around. Meanwhile, into California, more rain coming in, but actually the snow, don't look for any problems heading up and over Donner Summit I-80, and the reason for that is snow levels way up. You see the tail of the warm front right here? Well, essentially, as the next in a series of storms come on in, we will see this uh, warmer air moving in, so you'll have to head way up into the mountains before you hit snow. In fact, the uh, snow levels upwards of 7 to eventually 8,000 feet tomorrow. So that's what's going to be happening as the snow levels rise way on up. So there will be some melting of the snow, actually. Down into the Bay Area, it's raining, some locally heavy showers. Also into the San Joaquin Valley and the Sacramento Valley, we have some rain showers. Much farther to the north, up to around Snoqualmie Pass, I was checking out the latest readings, and what we have over toward uh, the northwest is temperatures into the 40s. 43 in Seattle, it is below freezing up at Snoqualmie Pass, but essentially what we see is most of that rough weather blasting on by. It is sort of cloudy in the west though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, as we check the rest of the west, here's the radar, you get the idea few spritzels of rain out there, snow into the mountains, but should be pretty